Bitcoin's back! What's going on in the crypto market? You wanna know the last information? And smash the like button. It's time for crypto news, crypto to the max with Rodrigo Arnido. Today we are in July already. We closed June and it was a red month. We were scared maybe we were going to go down to 60,611, but finally we closed around 62,000. 633 which means that we have in the monthly chart a higher low and that's a good thing that's what we wanted and we had a crazy weekend so we had it and now we have this trend that's telling us that bitcoin might go higher maybe even to these highs on 67,500. we'll see about that today in today's video but let's just recap june is now for Bitcoin history, a red month in the 7% drop uh, almost. And July right now is in the green. And remember that we told you in previous videos that July is usually a green month. So uh, we expect it to be uh, such again. Bitcoin has an average return of 10.5% on July and Ethereum 19.20. That's the average return according to Lark Davis. So we can expect a July in the green. But also we have the closure in the quarter in the half of the year also. And you can see there that for this quarter, Bitcoin did no good. We went down 12% almost, and it was 6% for Ethereum. But what's gonna happen in Q3? And most important, in my opinion, we want this summer to go fast, even though we enjoy summer so much. But we believe that this Q4, uh, Q4, those are going to be the best ones. You can see you have there 200% up, 100% up, 400% up. And also for Ethereum, like 100 here, 100 there. So we are waiting for that crypto winter that is going to feel like a summer. What about the three months? Well, you can see here we are going like red, green, green, red, green, green, red. When in 2016 and 17, we were like red, green, red, green, red, green. So similar structure, but different colors. It's a different type of song, but uh, it's still in a bull market. And in the semester, if we go to the six months, you can see that we've been in three uh, green uh, six months periods in a row as we were here three times and we still need two more why not if we are emulating this movement that we have there if you want more about july i gave you a lot of charts in the last video so go there and watch it do not miss those uh, remember this one with the different strategies with may and june also what about the election years with these uh months also, we compare the situation uh, with uh, previous fractals. We have here the beginning of the year. Remember that we are using this one that it doesn't start at the beginning of the year. It starts here. Uh, it starts here. And uh, according to that, we are following it perfectly to the $57,000 range and going back up again. According to this, in August, we can be in the all-time highs once again but we have some other comparisons they are uh, just trying to match the whole movement and you can see if you do that it's a similar thing but you have to wait a little bit longer so again watch those videos because you have there the idea uh, that we are following uh, also from kevin Svensson with this accumulation movement that we are doing it doesn't matter where you start counting Bitcoin in an accumulation that might be awesome for us when it's going to break this uh, bull pennant. We told you about that in that video and also about this head and shoulders pattern uh, that we might have. Remember also this parallel channel and we might be touching the line, but maybe in the future, maybe in the $67,000. Why? Why should we go right now? Maybe now we are good because we are touching the middle line, not here, but we are doing in the don't change channel. And you can see here the previous times that we were around that point, we had a bounce on Bitcoin. Maybe we are going to do something like 2017. If so, we are so close 
uh, or starting the next banana time. And you know, all depends on the stock market, on the dollar. Friday was a very bad day in the United States, but today in Asia, green day uh, for the stock market and dollar going down. And we broke the line that we wanted uh, to never been broken in a good way. But now we are back going down. So that's good thing for us today. Remember, we have to look after the Fed and they have those minutes report on July the 3rd. So watch crypto news and you'll know all about that. Also some news about ETH fee, also CK with a big announcement regarding Elastic Chain this week. We'll see about those consider about the Fed that the U.S. net liquidity went down to 5.8 trillion. This is slowing down the equities market and also our crypto world. That's why we are still neutral and not more bullish. But you can see here in the daily that we broke this line. This is awesome news. We are happy now looking to maybe $72,000 as Bitcoin is now forming this new a higher low, that's a good thing. And Red Capital believes that we might go now to the top of the range. We are between 72 and 60. Also, Crypto Robert telling us about the shorts that would be liquidated uh, up there. Remember that Bitcoin follows liquidity. Sensei also asking for 72. We'll see. Uh, it's possible also because... ETFs now, they have inflows again, four days uh, last week with inflows in a row. And also companies keep on buying Bitcoin like MetaPlanet in Japan. They bought Bitcoin again. They are the new Michael Saylor, of course. And Seth telling us here, I've showed you this chart a dozen times, but we are not tired of watching it. Bitcoin, 35 months of bull market. Is this time going to be different? We believe not. It's going to be just the same. Maybe we are in this parabola and we are bouncing back to the next high. All eyes right now on Bitcoin in this line, but also I have some bad news today. I'm a happy, but we have a gap in the CME futures chart and you can see this is not a good thing and we might go as soon as today or even tomorrow the next hours to close this gap why in my opinion because we have these points here uh, that would make a good uh, support point if we go there today or tomorrow maybe so maybe not remember i know esper i have no idea whatsoever what's going to happen with bitcoin but uh, we keep on researching for more information, trying to guess what's going to happen. And you can see that the bubbles are all in the green. ENS, 24% up. What's going on? Why they are number two on CoinGecko? Well, allegedly, because they are going to rebrand the name. It's going to be in a conference July the 8th. And we'll see what's the new name. Also, Layer Zero with this announcement that they are going to make allegedly. We will recover our money from ENS. Do you believe that from $32, we are going to go all the way up to $75? Maybe so. We will follow all that with our friends on DexTools.io, where you can see we still have uh, coins related with US elections. Also, of course, some animals out there and you can create your own own token now. So dextools.io, link in the description below. There you can know more about GME token. Now, Roaring Kitty facing, facing fraud allegations. They say he's going to win this trail, but uh, the allegations are right now misleading social media posts and failure to disclose GME trades. So we'll see about that and we'll see about my investment on GME. Still flat, but remember that I lost a lot of money with this right now. If I sell, I'm not selling. So right now it's just unrealized losses. Ethereum going up like crazy. This was the week for the Ethereum ETF, but it's not going to be. The SEC delayed uh, this ETF right now. Uh, they request submissions by July the 8th. So it's not going to be this week, maybe next week. And even though we have this bad piece of information, 
price of Ethereum is going up. Also, we have this bad piece of information related with this. The SEC is suing consensus uh, for their staking. So not good even for Ethereum and the market keeps on going higher. Any case, we'll know more about that in the next crypto news. Remember to be safe out there with a cold wallet like Trezor. And remember that uh, today is Monday and we have a new winner. If you bought a Trezor with the link in the description below and fill the form, you were eligible for this price of a Trezor Safe 3. And the winner is, according to ChatGPT, David with uh, this number of the bot he did. So congratulations to all the winners and we'll keep creating these draws. Remember that if you want to win for sure, you have a 15 euros uh, bonus if you use the crypto debit card by bit that I personally use. So I have then some cash back. The link is in the description below to both things. So use it right now. And now we say goodbye for today's video. And let's go stretch a little bit like this cat is doing some yoga so we can chill as Bitcoin keeps on going higher. Good news today, but you have more news about AI in our other channel, AI News. Watch all the videos. I'm going to release a new one and I'm researching already, of course, for more crypto news here. Crypto News with Rodrigo Arnedo, Health, Money, Love, Pouring Peace and the best is yet to come. To the moon!